Hey everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at how we can trigger a burst of particles when we jump into a coin. In the last episode we had a look at how we can enable our character to collect a coin when he jumps into it. And the result of this tutorial looked something like this. You could jump and collect, but every time we collect the coin we want a big particle burst to appear. So how do we do that? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make one change to our player. You'll remember in the last episode we added this script to our player, which allows us to collect the coin. We're going to delete this script just to make sure that it doesn't interfere with the new script which we're going to write today. So let's click on remove component. Now you'll see when I run the game, I cannot collect the coin any longer because the script is gone. Okay, so how can we trigger this particle burst when we jump into the coin? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the coin in the hierarchy view and right click it, then go on to effects and add a particle system. Now you'll see that this, uh, these particles appear, um, but uh, you'll notice that the particles appear behind the background. If I blend the background out for a moment, you'll see that the particles are visible and now they're not. So let's go ahead and tweak the particle system so that we have it uh, working just fine and the way we need it to trigger this burst. So in the particle system on the right hand side, we're going to first make sure that the particles are shown um, in our direction so that they don't go into the background. Right now you'll see um, that if I um, trigger the 3D view and look behind the scenes, the particles are being emitted through the back of this <coughs> scene. So we want to, uh, the particles to go in our direction. How do we do that? We can do that by going into the shape tab and then changing the shape to a circle. And you'll see now the particles appear right on uh, on top of the layer. Um, oh no, they don't yet. Uh, we, th we still need to make a uh, couple more changes because you see the particles, they go behind the grass blocks. Um, so they disappear as soon as they go behind the blocks. We don't want that to happen. We want them to be in front. So we're gonna go into the renderer and in the renderer, we need to change the order and layer. We're going to change it to, let's say three. Now you'll see that the particles do indeed appear in front of the grass blocks. Let me just give you a quick comparison again. So back to layer zero and layer one and layer three. Yeah, that's it. Layer three, um, when we have them on layer three, they appear be before the grass blocks, which is exactly what we want. Okay, so now how do we get this burst effect to happen? Let's make some tweaks to the particle system first. So the duration, we're going to set it to three. Then we're going to make sure that the start lifetime is a bit shorter. We're going to set it to 0 0.4. And the start speed can be faster to make the burst nice and fast. Um, I think that looks a little bit better. Then we're going to change the color of our burst by um, taking the color picker and making it the same sort of color as our coin. Um, as you can see now, the color has changed to this nice yellow uh, glow, which uh, is exactly what we want. Sure, so we've got the color set. Then the next thing we need to do is we need to make sure that uh, the shape um, is adjusted. So let's change the radius uh, of where the particles are emitted from. Now, it's a bit difficult to see, but there's this white line uh, which uh, goes around the coin. And this is the area from where the particles are emitted. So you'll see that if I make it larger, the particles are emitted from a larger radius. And when I bring it in, they're um, emitted from a smaller radius. So let's bring it a bit in and make sure that the particles are emitted from around the coin. Um, so how do we do that? I think we need to adjust the radius thickness to zero. Let me, let me see if that's right by, 
yeah, now you'll see the particles are only emitted from the edge of the circle. So that looks a little bit better than before. So that the particles don't come out of the coin directly, but from it looks like it's coming from behind. Okay, so we've got that settled. Um, now the last thing we need to make sure is that we have the emission um, settings adjusted. At the moment we're emitting particles over time, uh, but that's not what we want to do. We want to trigger a burst of particles. So let's get this um, rate over time down to zero and we'll get a burst of particles um, triggered. Let's put this down to 0 0.03 and we'll make the count a bit higher. And now you can see that there's these regular bursts uh, of particles that appear around the coin. Um, okay, so I think we can leave it at that. Uh, it doesn't look perfect. We'll make perhaps a couple more uh, particles appear, but yeah, we'll leave it at that. I think that's fine for now. Okay, so we've got the particle system um, in place. We're going to also make sure that the emission, even though we've created a burst, is going to be on off. So we want to take away this little tick uh, because we're going to trigger this using a script. So we can set it to off for now. All right, after we've done that, let's go ahead and um, take care of the scripting. I've actually gone ahead and already prepared a script for this, which we're going to go through. Uh, I'll walk you through it and then we can add it to the player. All right, so now let's take a closer look at the script which we're going to use in order to trigger the sparse particle effect. So in this script, um, before I go into the details of it, I just quickly want to run through what is going to happen when the player jumps in the other coin. The first thing that's going to happen is the sprite, the image of the coin is going to disappear, which is going to look, which is going to make it look like the player has collected the coin. After that, we're going to immediately trigger the burst of particles. And after the burst of particles is played, we're going to delete the game object from our memory because after the uh, coin has been collected and the particles have played, there is no more need to keep the game object in our game. And this is exactly what this script over here that I've written does. Let's go through it. So over here, we first have a reference to our particle system, which is going to have the burst of particles and the sprite renderer, which is the sprite renderer on our coin that renders the image of the coin. And in addition to that, we have a Boolean value once, which is set to true. This Boolean value is going to help us make sure that the particle effect is only ever triggered once. After that, we have a method which is called onTriggerEnter2D. Now, this method is called when a Collider2D enters the trigger. Now, the trigger is going to be on our coin, and you know that the player uh, that we've created also has a Collider2D um, component on him. So when he jumps into the coin, we are going to check that it is in fact the player which is jumping into the coin and not any other uh, collider 2D that we may have. And in addition to that, we're going to check that once is true. You can see further below that once is set to false down here, and it is never set to true again. So we make sure that this um, sequence of events that we have in this if statement is only ever done once. Okay, but what comes next over here are two variables where we reference the um, emission component of our particle system, which allows us to set the emission to on or off. And we access over here the duration of the particle system, so how long the particles are played. So in this if statement, we first set the, um, uh, the emission of particles to true, which plays and we play the uh, particle burst. After that, we set once to false. We then destroy the sprite renderer, so the image of the sprite disappears. And we invoke another method 
Um, and this invoke is quite special because we invoke this method which destroys the game object after a specific duration. And the duration which we're taking over here is exactly the duration which um, it takes for the particles to play. So after this duration, the game object is destroyed and the entire um, game object is deleted. So that's the script. And we are going to take the script and add it onto our coin. So we're simply going to drag and drop it. Um, so make sure the coin is selected in the scene view and we're gonna drag and drop this component there. Now we need to make sure that we fill out these blocks. So first we have to add a collision particle system. Now this is the particle system that we created earlier. I'm going to take it from over here, the right hand side and drag it into the collision particle system. And we also need a sprite renderer. And that is the sprite renderer which we have over here, which um, displays our coin. As you can see, if I toggle it, it uh, toggles the coin on our screen. So let's take the sprite renderer and drag it into the sprite renderer we have in our script. All right, so now we're nearly done. The next thing we need to do is we need to make sure that the tag on the player is uh, set. So at the moment, the tag on the player is untagged. But remember, in the um, script, we need, are checking for a collision with an object that has the name player. So we need to make sure that our player actually has the tag player. Okay, and after that is set, we also need to make sure that our player has a box collider, which it does. We already created it. Mm, and uh, then we also need to make sure that on our coin, the box collider is set as the trigger. Over here, you can see that the is trigger checkbox is checked. And that means that um, the on trigger um, method, which we talked about earlier, the on trigger enter 2D method is in fact um, called when this uh, player jumps into the coin. All right, so let's go ahead and save this and press play and see what happens. I think I've thought of, of everything. So wish me luck and let's see if yeah, it works. As you saw just a moment ago, the coin was collected and the burst of particles was emitted. Yeah, so that's how you add a burst of particles to um, a coin after a collision happens. And yeah, see you in the next video.